How you guys doing today? Welcome back to Tuna Tech. Today, not sure if you can see what this is. This is the Oculus Quest. So this came out a few years ago. Um, virtual reality headset from uh, Facebook Oculus. Uh, I've dabbled with uh, virtual reality from Samsung Gear VR to Google Daydream, which are no longer, I think both platforms have been kind of uh, eliminated. Oculus made the Oculus Go, which is kind of a spinoff of those mobile-based VR platforms. And then they came out with the Rift S, which is a PC-only VR headset, and the Quest. What intrigued me about the Quest was, you know, after the COVID-19 outbreak, it was cool that it not only gave you the wireless experience. Now, I only have one controller here now. I'm just kind of trying to show you. Um, but it also has this little USB port, which is for charging, of course, two headphone jacks, um, it has your volume control and then your distance between your eyes, the adjustment there. What's interesting about this is um, not only are the headphones kind of built into your strap, which kind of gives you that full sound, but this little USB port can be used at the time of first buying this was a called Quest Link, which means you could use one USB 3.0 or higher USB port on your computer if you had a powerful enough computer and you could play some Rift games and Steam VR games. I finally got my hands on this, you know, probably three, four, six months ago, I don't know. Absolutely love it. The only downside to this is I have I wear glasses and for some reason, no matter what time of day I put this on, those lenses inside steam up for a good 10, 15 minutes. But my kids get a kick out of it playing Roblox VR hands, um, VR uh, Help Wanted, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. So anyways, this is the old one. So as you can probably figure out from what I'm talking about, the Overdue Quest 2. Now this has been opened many times, but not for me. The original one was based on, I think, I believe a Snapdragon 835, which when it came out, this was already years behind. But with software, just like the Google Pixel line, you know, they can use the same camera sensor for five years, but with computational photography, they can make that sensor look like a million dollars. Same with Quest. Quest ha Oculus has sunk a lot of money into the Quest Link to, um, you know, optimizing the software. And with what it comes with, you would not imagine it. Now with the Quest 2, they have made the unit smaller, lighter, revamped the controls from this to what you see in the picture. They also got a special Snapdragon uh, processor. I don't know the name of the processor off the bat, but it's they say it's more in the lines of the 855, 865 series, which is pretty current right now. It also retains Quest Link. Now, I don't know how much you follow VR, but I believe Oculus is going to phase out the Quest 1 and the Rift S. Now, they both will be still supported, but you won't be able to buy them. They want to go towards this. And they're going to go, I think, from what it sounds like, and I believe is in the best interest of most people, is to the hybrid model. So, let's get this thing open. So, I probably don't need a big knife. But you know how it is when you unbox something, it's just fun to go like this and you just tear it open. So on this box on the back, it talks about next level hardware. That's that new processor I'm talking about. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up. You don't need a PC, but even hooking up PC has been pretty easy. Now that it's out of beta, I've noticed when I plug my computer in, it gives me, you know, allow or deny access to this computer. Once you click on that on the screen inside the headset, um, it opens up the Quest software on your computer. Um, and I think within the headset, you just go to settings and click Rift S model. It honestly works pretty good. I've used um, Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted through Steam VR. I said Roblox with um, VR hands. I played Stormland that was mostly made for the Rift. Uh, I bought it through the Rift S portal on Oculus, and it looks amazing. I'm really excited to see what they've done with this new. Oculus. So like I said, I got the 64 gig model mainly because most of the games I'm going to be playing are going to be connected to my PC so I won't need that much space. Uh, also, one big improvement on this besides the processor is the screen. Now the original has OL, uh, LED. This is going to have LCD, you know, give or take. But as I say, it's going to be faster refresh rate up in 90 hertz when, you know, companies take advantage of it. It's going to have better resolution, all that stuff. So let me see if I can figure out how to open this. Oh, okay, I see how it opens here. 
So as you can see, I'm pretty excited. I don't play games that much, but VR just kind of does it for me. But either way, so there's that. One big thing I'm worried about, and I guess I was hoping to find out, is the color. So it comes in one color. It doesn't come with the charcoal anymore. So there it is. Uh, just taking out of the box, and you can see, looking at the old one, my old one's all dirty. Wow, it is quite a bit smaller. I know it's kind of hard. Let me see if I can move some of this stuff out of the way here. So setting them both down, you got your fitment kit, just some cardboard, and there you go. So as you can see, this one's wider. Uh, still has the headphone jack for the head uh, speakers. Trying to get that out of the way, right there, built into the. Uh, you can see that or not, but it's it's right there. On my finger, right there. Uh, looks like you got the lens. Um, what's that carbon on the outside of it too? I don't see. I see volume control. I don't see the adjuster for your pupil separation. But I think there's a adjustment where you move these. Uh, and I'll mess with that a little later. But there's the size. Looking at it from the top, you still got four cameras. Uh, but one of, my, one of my things I was worried about is this color is white, straps white. Now you can see there's probably like a little bit of a stain right here. Who knows, my kids might be eating snacks and they threw it on. This one is all white. Now, this isn't fabric here, so it's going to wipe off good. But on the side here, it's all white fabric. And that's going to get dirty real, real quick. Uh, here's a spacer, which this the original came with, one, came with two. It's so you can wear it with glasses. I was told if you have thick frames like I do, these are mine, you know. Um, I may have to get a fitment kit, which is separate, which I have no problem doing. The other big thing besides the processor, the screen, it's a lot lighter in the front, so I say you can wear it for longer periods of time, are the controllers. And so, that being said, here's a right controller, the new one, and here's a right controller. So, as you can see, it curves right here. Oh, wow, yeah, that's uh, it's a little bit larger. It's a touchpad right here. Huh, yeah, it's uh, definitely different. It's bigger. It feels more solid. Another thing that these were prone to is when I was playing like Beat Saber, how the battery the compartment would just pop right off really easily. They said they had fixed that, and it looks like they did because now it's on the inside, not on the outside. But there it is. Here's your straps that go around. And there you go, guys. That's the Oculus Quest 2. Um, I'm going to set this up for myself on my gaming PC that I have. I put together a quick, not as heavy duty gaming PC for my kids, which still runs Oculus Link for my kids. So I'll give them the old one, then play it. Uh, but either way, like, share, subscribe. And I hope you like this video. Thanks.